Okay, okay. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. I'm gonna walk away from this guy because he's making a commotion. But yes, in our last episode, we yeah, we went down there, talked to our girlfriend Sonia, beat the living tar, you know what, out of Hop over there, and now it is time for us to go to Route Nine because we got another badge to win. Uh, we got other things to do. We got business to take care of, and uh, I did not go through those houses. It's probably a good idea that I should, and hey, look, I didn't know that there was a haircut place. Oh, well, let's see. Alright, before we leave to Route 9, I'm just gonna go check up on some stuff. You know, free stuff. We gotta love those free stuff right here, okay? So talk to this guy, plenty of snow, ice for E, now, Glalie or Frostlass. Okay, so yeah, you have to evolve, like, if it's a male, yes, you can evolve it regularly, but it's a female. Use one of those dark stones to actually evolve them and all that crud. You know, some Pokemon knowledge that I vaguely say. And a couple complete. Yeah, feel it good. Yeah, okay. Nothing right there. Yeah. Probably wasting my time just a little bit just to... Oh, wait. Look at this. Look at this. The mouse is right there. My bad. Anywho. Uh, oh, wow. There's some stairs right here. I didn't see this. Oh, look at that. Grab this. We found ourselves a Poke doll. Wow. I really, really need to take advantage of, like, looking at everything. But, yes. I'm in a bit of a rush. Okay. Let's see. Anybody... Here, spare some free items and all that stuff. I uh, love my snowball fights with my Pokemon. Okay, no, nothing. Anywho, uh, so yeah. Last episode we did some stuff, just a little bit, and uh, now it is time for us to go to Route 9. And Route 9, we're going to be crossing a, a river, a lake, or something like that. And, uh, or a ravine, I don't really know, but... You're going to be finding some interesting Pokemon trainers here, too. Including Pokemon. And, as you can see, it's getting a little chillier. More Pokemon are out here, more trainers, and the question is, how are we gonna cross? How are we gonna cross this river, or lake, or whatever? And look at look at that! It is following me, and I am not going to I'm not gonna go through that. So let's go ahead and grab this. Found ourselves a max potion, and well, there's a trainer right there. Might as well start battling. While I start rambling about other stuff. Right. I guess I would need to ramble. Uh, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use some other Pokemon right because It's been a, you know, Michelangelo show the last two episodes here. So look at that. Meeting a trainer can only mean a battle. What a co simple concept. True. Anywho, guys. I am currently on vacation. And I am currently doing all these videos. Talking up on a buttload of videos because, well, yes. I'm going to get even busier going into the holiday season and all that stuff. And hopefully for us, you know, we'll have everything, uh, we'll have everything uh, ready. Um, speaking of which, uh, I don't know if you guys caught this in the last, uh, in episode 20 or 21. But yeah, I have found out, or I have found the way to stream. Actually, I've always had the, the way to stream. It's just I haven't used it yet because, well, not a lot of time, but... What I'm trying to say is, okay, so streaming is now an option for all of us right here, guys. And the question for all of you is, would you guys like me to complete a walkthrough, one of our current walkthroughs, via streaming, or would you guys like me to start up a new walkthrough, schedule it, and do streaming on that from start to finish? I'm just asking because, you know, it, it's a lot of exciting stuff. And yes, good, you know, Draven is always late to a lot of things, you know, this, you know, late to the other games and all that crud. I get it, you know. I'm always late for the party, but whatever. Um, but at least I'm doing it now. Uh, proof, the proof, uh, the proof is in the pudding, guys. It's right there in my channel. I did stream just a little bit of a, of a, of a well, a small bit of Pokemon Sword just to show you guys that, yeah, streaming is now an option. And, you know, I'm just kind of wondering what games are there. Especially right now, since like you know, got a lot of a lot of a lot of time to myself. This is like a first time for everything. And yes, there are a lot of Pokemon right here you can actually capture. I'm having my eyes on a, on a few. And well, there's a person right here wanting to talk. Let's go ahead and talk to her. My Pokemon are all pumped up from dancing with me. Are you ready for us? I've always been ready. Okay, so here we go. Dancer Zoe wants the battle. And she is coming out with a Darumaka, and, well, look at this. The Darumaka is an Ice-type Pokemon. 
I think it's still strong as heck with the with the whole uh, physical attack. So, but here we go. Overdrive and overdrive quickly decimates Darumaka. So yeah, and she is dancing still. She's doing the hokey pokey and all that stuff. And well, we're getting hit by hail. That's something that you need to follow. So she is coming out with a blossom. So let's go straight for Bex and see what good old Bex can do right here. Now. Another thing too that I've been changing up, or that I've added during the process of, uh, of, of uh, what was it called, uh, you know, doing my walkthroughs, is that I've actually been writing down what happens in the episodes, you know, episode, like I'm looking at my, my notebook right now, episode 9, or episode 20, about 7 and 8, you know, just to remember things, because I've also been getting comments from you guys that, hey, you know, you, you keep on forgetting these things, it's kind of misleading, this is and that, it's, yeah, okay, it is, but you guys, if you guys have to understand something, uh, yeah, I'm very forgetful. You guys probably already noticed it in the last few episodes, probably throughout my stay right here, that I've been getting a little bit forgetful, and it's probably due to the whole, you know, playing football thing and all that crud, so, yeah. <laughs> probably a good thing that I'm writing this down now, that I'm going to be a little more accurate with the stuff that I do here, and... Oh, look at that. More experience points. We defeated her, and she is kind of happy that we beat her. I don't know. Okay, so let's move on right here. And let's see. We are now in Route 9 in Sir Chester Bay. And right here, you're going to be finding yourself some Team Yell or Team... Yeah, Team Yell, I think. I don't know. Again, getting stuff, guys. So let's first heal up our Pokemon, and that was my air conditioner right here. Hold on just a sec, guys. Okay, so here we are back, guys. I was just, you know, I needed to fix up a few things right here in my room. Uh, and look at this. There's no way we're letting you anywhere near Spike Month. And that means we can't let you go on to Route 9. It's Team Yell's duty to cheer for the, on these lovely Dredna. And we, all, or we also get to stop people from heading out over the water. Bye bye Okay, that's kind of uh, weird. Yes, I understand. All I'm saying is that I can make it so that the Rotom bikes can ride over the water. Hmm. Why, we meet again, my young gym, ch gym ch challenger ch friend. Remember me? I gave you that bike. So do you think that you could uh, do me another favor and teach these ruffians a lesson or two? Sure, why not? I've, I've been teaching them lessons since like the very start. Shoot, it's our duty to protect Redendal. And that means you're going to give up on the gym challenge. Okay, you may look like you look like you need convincing. So, how about a Pokemon battle? Sure, why not? I'll send you packing for the sick and dreaded all, of course. Okay, so here we go, taking on a Team Yell Grunt, and you know, there's something that like I've been like I've been saying for quite some time. Um, how are they villains? They're just a fan base. They really, they really are a fan base to one Pokemon trainer. It's kind of a surprise. It really is a, a kind of a surprise when the, you know, the actual criminal syndicate comes out and all that stuff. It's like, wait, I thought these guys were the bad guys. Total misleading, or to, total just like you know, 180 and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Kiss. That's right, Kiss with two Z. And let's see. Kiss is looking. Kiss is coming out with a Pangaro. Oh, wow, Pangaro. It is, I think, a fighting type Pokemon. So let's go straight for a Brick Break. Hopefully we're faster. And no, that is a Bullet Punch. Skill type move. So critical hit. Always starts off first. But here comes the, crit, the, the Brick Break. And nearly defeats Pangoro. And yes, the Hail. You got to hate the Hail. All right, let's go straight. Brick Break. And here we go. And just like that, Pangoro has been defeated. And well, let's see. More experience points for all of us. And just like that, we have defeated one of the two Team Yell or, or yeah, Teal, yeah, whatever. They're Grunts or something. Isn't Yell and Grunt the same thing? I don't know. God, he's gonna ride the Dreadnought. Uh, no, I'm not. 
Oi! I've got an idea. We can get on a Dreadnought first and ride it away! Alright. Get a move on, Dreadnought! See you later, Jim Challenger. Bye bye. Okay. Alright. Uh. So wait, that was your Dreadnought? I, I don't know, but after defeating Team Yell, homeboy right here, he's like, Seems you, you've come to my aid yet again. How's the cycling life been treating you? Are you having fun? Wouldn't it be great if you could ride your rotom bike on the, on the water too? That's why I'm going to add these special parts, allowing it to travel along the water surface just for you. And look at that, we get ourselves another rotom bike from the parts. And, well now, this bike can be combined with the Pokemon Rotom to not only do turbo boost, but run on water. All right, all right. With the Rotom Bike Water Mode, you'll cruise across the water like a Pokemon with Swiss Swim. By the uh, by, the by, what, 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 what is that? Hey, by the by, when you're riding on land, we'll call it land mode. Huh, that doesn't make any sense. So, yes, we are now enabled to ride on water. We don't need Surf. We don't need any of that stuff, but we can ride on water. But now this actually enables a, a few things uh, along the water, like, you know, Pokemon that randomly pop out. Uh, as you can see, we got ourselves a zoom lens, an item to, to be held by a Pokemon. If the holder moves after the target moves, its accuracy will be boosted. True. So true. Okay, so that's a good item that we need. And look at that. We found ourselves a Whalmer. A lot of interesting Pokemon you can actually capture, and like I said, guys, uh, now that, well, now that I'm writing things down, I will remember some stuff that way. I can keep everything in mind for the following episodes and stuff, and we found ourselves a max re uh, revive. Look at this, some interesting Pokemon. Mantikes are just flying around, and if you hit these guys, yep, just like a, a roaming po- or just like a- just like the Diglets and all that stuff. And here we found a Black Belt, an item that to be held. Uh, this belt helps aware of the focus boost and power of fighting type moves. Okay, all right. And let's see, before we battle this gentleman, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Uh, you know what? Dreepzilla hasn't battled. Not one time. And I need to check up on something. Let's see, the summary. All right, Dreepzilla. We got a clear body, prevents lowering attacks. Okay, so it doesn't really have a. Oh crap! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so it really doesn't have any kind of a. It really doesn't have anything. That's the, probably the reason why I'm not battling him. So let's go to Shadow Blade. Let's be safe. Come on, be cool. And let's talk to this guy. And he's like, aim <laughs> for your opponent's weak spots and strike. That's all there is to it. You must be from Cobra Kai. I do not know, but let's get this going. We're taking on Black Belt Carter, and he is going to be coming out with a grapple lock. Those are the Pokemon that you're seeing out on the on the sea right there. And yeah, yeah, you would you would think this Pokemon is a water type, but no, it's actually a fighting type, which is good for us because look at this, we got ourselves a drill pack. You know, we could hit this Pokemon pretty hard, and just like that, grapple lock defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and more experience points. More levels, and <laughs> he just looks—he looks so innocent after losing, which is funny. Okay, so let's see. Let's move on. And here we are in a big piece of land, and we're gonna be finding some Pokemon trainers here. My question is, why are they—they're trying to sunbathe in an area where there's like nothing but ice? That's kind of—it's uh, kind of hardcore in a little, like in a sense. And well, I will capture you, well now. And I'm throwing out a the rod right here. There probably is a Pokemon right here. And let's see what we find. We found ourselves a Mantike. Okay. Too bad I do not want to capture it. Too bad I don't. So let's uh, let's see it. Yeah, low 43 Mantike. It's tempting, but no, thank you right now. Okay. So let's see. No items. Let's go ahead and switch, uh, let's go ahead and pick out some Pokemon that can actually help us right here. So let's go with Blitzkrieg, and yeah, let's go Shadow Blade and Blitzkrieg right here. Alright, let's see what you, uh, it certainly, it certainly is a beach, but it's too cold! Uh, what did you expect? What do you think about my secret beach? It's a small mysterious paradise located on a very cool ocean. You've come all this way here, so I'll give you a present. 
We got ourselves the TM35 dive. A nice move. Diving on the first turn and uh, the user floats up and attacks the next turn. Okay, the move dive. Your Pokemon won't be hit by attacks while it's diving under the water. That's right. It may be similar to the, my beach, which is so cold nobody visits. She is probably the reason why he's here. So, yeah. She's hardcore. Okay. So, we're moving along right here. And, wow, these Pokemon pop up like nobody's business. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so I do not want to get attacked by any of these guys. Let's go right ahead and uh, head straight to this Bay Area right here. And see what we can actually find. There's nothing. I think we have to actually go into this area. And look at that. We found ourselves an item, which is a big pearl. And... Oh, another item right here. Pearl string. So these are some pretty cool items that you can actually sell for some big time money. And yeah, she will battle us when we're trying to get out of the sea right here. So here we go, taking on a Fisher Marina. And she's gonna be coming out with her quillfish. Okay, bring it. Bring it on. Bring it on like Donkey Kong. And here comes a Shadow Blade effect, a nerve. And let's see. I think there was something else that I, I actually said onto my channel or onto this right here. I think I said that I was going to be switching up some Pokemon right here too because I know that Corvin Knight is a good addition, but I, I, I only had my eyes on something else. I don't know. But here comes a drill pack. And that one hits it pretty good. And just because it's on water, it's a little faster. And yeah, we're getting hit quite a few times. Okay. Seriously, pin missile. Like, you're hitting a steel and flying type Pokemon, and you Oh my god. I don't want to look at AI here is just annoying. Okay. Seriously, come on. If it would have hit me like 10 times, I would have been mad. So there we go. Quillfish for the win. And. There we go. Okay, so who's next? Who's next? Let's see. What do you what do you have? A pew pew oh wow, I can't even pronounce that name right. Okay. We got the Pokemon for the job, Michelangelo. Ready to go. And well, let's see. I'm assuming it's that okay, yep, it is that poison type Pokemon right here. So let's go straight for the dig attack. And yes, we won't get hit. Come on. Counterattack. Won't hurt us. That probably will, but we didn't do it. And the dig attack. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. And here's a hardened attack right here. Okay, what type of Pokemon is this? Okay. thought it was a poison type. Hmm. I could be wrong. Okay, so let's see. Screw it. Let's go. Jaw lock. I'm just doing it because I don't want to. I don't know. And yes, our shell bell is actually going to work right here. So here comes a hard attack yet again. And it, now it's going to make it a little more difficult for us to actually just beat. Okay, so let's see. Let's go straight for a rock tomb. And the rock tomb brings its speed down, but not its defense. And yes, okay, shell bell is doing its thing. And here comes a counter attack. That hits us hard because we're all physical attacks here. Damn this Pokemon. Okay, so here we go. Rock Tomb attack. Finish him off. Yeah, I could have just used an electric type Pokemon and in Ards out, and I guess that's a really bad effect on us. Oh crud. Okay, so there you go. Shell Bell for the win, and Michelangelo goes level 44. We are moving on. Okay. So what's next? Some Pokemon right here. Do not want to battle them. And let's go ahead and get off our, our bike for a little bit. I do see a hidden item right here. And we found ourselves the Never Melt Ice, which is very good for ice that Pokemon. And wow, there's more trainers right here. Maybe there's a hidden item around here. Yep, there it is. Grab this one. And we found ourselves another rare candy. And, well, this guy is just going to introduce us to the campsite right here. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Maybe to something new. Or right, actually, you know what? Shadow Blade against fighting type Pokemon. I just realized that, so here we go. Witness the results of the training I did all together with my Pokemon. 
Okay, alright. He seems ready to go. Alright, so... Here it is. Coming out with his sock. Suck and throw. I remember back in the day. It was like, I'm gonna sock you. I'm gonna sock you. That was a... <laughs> to me, that was always a funny, a funny term. I'm gonna sock you. I'm gonna sock you in the face. My sister, my sister probably still says, says that. I don't know. My niece probably does too. I don't know. So here we go. Drill back. And Sock stays, uh, stays alive. Including with that. Oh, nearly defeats him. Good gravy. Okay. Let's go. One more time. Drill back. And wow, you gotta love that. Okay, so here we go. Drill back for the win. Alrighty. Okay. There you go. And let's see. What's next? Who's next? Throw, of course. My mortal enemy. The beefiness of the throw. So here we go. Drill peg attack. And here we go. Yeah, that. Yeah, I actually thought that was going to be more, much more of a challenge right there. So, yes, Reese has been defeated. He doesn't look too happy right there. Okay. All right, so let's see. I think we're almost done right here. Just needed to take care of that. And, well, let's see. Just got to be careful for the Pokemon around here because they will just spring up on you. And what is this? Trainer tips! There are times when you can throw a Pokeball to catch a Pokemon and it shakes just once. This curious uh, phenomenon is to occur since it makes it more likely that you'll be able to catch your target. It's called a critical catch. You don't say. Probably already knew that. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out. Let's go with Blitzkrieg right here. And <laughs> swimming trades muscles. Muscles launch moves. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Okay, swimmer Jacob wants to battle, and he's smelling his pokeball. He's throwing it out. Cloyster. Okay. Let's go. Right here on uh, Gym Leader Train. Leader Draven's channel right here. And uh, there we go. Overdrive for the win. So, Overdrive and what was the other move? I gotta, I gotta hold on. Yeah, and it's other move are basically the same thing. It hits everything. Probably gotta have to switch one out for the other. Let's see. Alright. Again, trying not to hit any of these Pokemon and wow! Look at that. We are in the in the presence of a Whalmer right here. And this Whalmer is at level 40, so pretty much you can give it a, a, a rare candy and it'll evolve right there and then. Nintendo's really made it easy for you to just like get these Pokemon in. Well, look at this. We found ourselves another bay. And found ourselves a normal gem. And another trainer right here. So let's go ahead and battle this guy. I finished all my warm-ups. Okay, let's battle with everything we've got. Okay, all right. So here we go, Swimmer Logan wants the battle. What is it with these swimmers sniffing out their Pokeballs? I don't know. So here comes the Blitzkrieg, ready to go, ready to destroy everything in its, in its path. And well, here comes the schooling from Wishy Washy. And that is a big Wishy Washy. That is one big Wishy Washy. So, Discharge and Overdrive, pretty much the same moves. So here we go, Discharge, and, well, you didn't expect that, okay, mm-hmm, and, well, let's see, Whale Lord is about to come out, let's just continue on right here, and I'm getting text messages, you know, too, okay, so let's go with an overdrive, like, take a look at this, guys, it's the same thing, probably one more, one, one is more powerful than the other, Whale Lord had no chance. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Okay, look at that. Okay, so we defeated Logan. And he is not too happy right now. Okay, so that is that right there. Let's go ahead and make our way over here. And, yes, again, we're, we're trying not to get hit by any of these Pokemon right here. And look at this. We're finding a lot of items. Hello, hello there. The girl in a bikini. And, oh, wow, I I was pressing the A button just so I can grab some more items right there. And this guy, what could this Pokemon be? A Mantic. 
Okay, so... Don't want anything to do with this Pokemon right now, so let's go ahead and just walk away. That's how you should do it, guys. Just walk away. And... She wants to battle us! I'm doing research to see if one day I can swim anywhere with my beloved Toxapex. I don't know what a Toxapex is. Again, real hard time to remember a lot of things, guys! So here comes Layla, coming out with her Toxapex. And, oh, it's that Pokemon! Okay, alright. Okay, so it's pretty much just... Yeah, I, I, I... Yeah, I should probably go back to Pokemon Moon just to remember this Pokemon right here. So there we go. Toxapex. Feeling that burn. Not alive in me. Wait, look at that. Yes, my Pokemon are growing levels. <laughs> Layla, she's not having it right here, too. And, well, let's see. Let's grab this. Found ourselves a big pearl. And I guess that will leave us right here to Route 9, the Outer Spike Month. So, we're going to stay right here, guys, because it's a short walk to Spike Month, and in Spike Month is not really going to be a lot. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Make sure to make a donation right there, you know, heart button or anything, and the link is in the description below. I will see you guys in the next episode as we win our seventh badge. See you guys.